G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts channel. Here's the latest update on my 50s Motorama Diorama model set project. Haven't done much work on it in a while because of because of our creativity mental block and motivational issues. But finally gotten back onto it after a little while. What I've been working on lately is making the uh, railings for these uh, circular platforms been working on making railings pretty much just like this which is which is like that chip wood stuff which I've cut into uh, shape and the uh, the actual posts are toothpicks which are, which I would have uh, demonstrated in my previous video one of my previous videos when I made this uh, star platform well, anyway, I've, I've uh, cut and grinded the uh, circular railings. And I've spray painted them chrome silver. And I've spray painted a bunch of toothpicks chrome silver, which I'll cut down to size and they'll be the... Uh, posts to hold the railings on onto the yes onto the circular platforms and another side experiment I've been trying to do was make one of those fancy uh, platform things which I think I might have talked about in a previous video but can't remember Try and find it. Yeah, I was trying to replicate something like this fancy, uh, fancy structure used in the 1956 G General Motors Motorama. I mean, I've tried making something using plastic containers. I kind of don't like it because it kind of looks cheap, you know. Just, it just, just doesn't. Just. It just looks like a looks like a uh, cheap replica, a cheap crappy made replica. I mean, it's all right, but nah, I don't like it very much. So I thought I'd cut individual pieces of chip wood and try and sort of replicate it. I thought I was doing fine with it, but I realised that though. Um, the way I made these uh, these uh, column pieces, I just and put putting them um, putting them onto this uh, center platform piece. The uh, tops and the bottom plat the tops and the bottom are bottoms don't pretty much don't fit. So what I'm going to have to do is probably pretty much cut the tops and the bottoms pretty much the same size so it's, it's just going to look square it's not going to look anything special like the uh won't look anything as fancy as as that um uh, that structure there but it'll look a little bit more a little bit more uh nicer than this structure here the problem is it's just problem is with the containers it's just they're just so thin I don't know it might work but it just it just looks a bit you know just looks a bit looks a bit crappy in comparison to the other props I've been working on I'll see how I go all right well that's about it for this video just a short update that's kind of gotten a bit long-winded anyway stay tuned for my next update when I have these uh, railings connected to these platforms all right this is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts channel signing out